Trying to not to white light The pigment is in the figment of an imagination Color on the wheel that provide a ventilation with the Hi guys! This video has been super super highly requested I've been meaning to film it for a while but the weather was too nice so we had to go to the beach so we're gonna actually talk about college and UCSB while at I'm the so beach there's a dog. There's a dog. <laughs> Come here. Ah. That's the first thing you need to know about UCSB <laughs> is that if you are a dog lover, you will be in heaven. So dog. I'm Erin. <laughs> I'm Hannah. I'm Sydney. And these are three out of four. Two out of three. Two out housemates. of the three of my housemates. They're going to help me answer some questions and talk about college life and it should be pretty fun. Okay, so Sydney and I both transferred. I transferred from a community college in LA. And I transferred from a private four-year university, Stetson University, the Hatters. In Florida. In Florida. I've been here since freshman year. I think the main thing about transferring is that I felt like I was a freshman again when I came here. I didn't know anything about what UCSB, so oh my god, there's balls flying. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we're just gonna answer some questions that I asked you guys to ask us. <laughs> Yeah. We're going to respond to the questions. We are going to respond to questions. Okay. Yeah. What is transportation like at UCSB? Bikes. Bikes. Yeah, bikes. Bikes for sure. Bikes rule this school. There are bike paths everywhere and they have the right of way, which is ridiculous. I don't think it's like that anywhere else where pedestrians yield to the bikes. So you definitely should get a bike if you are planning on coming to UCSB. There's also the bus the system. You can get a free bus sticker. I'm a People fan of the bus places. on rainy days. Yeah, especially on rainy days. That is true. Okay. Or if you have a car and you want to pay $8 and you can park and you're lazy because that's what I do most of the time. Let's just talk about our majors with that. So I'm a linguistics major. I'm a psychology major with a TESOL minor. I'm a history major. What is it like going out in IV slash downtown? I think Hannah can <laughs> about that the best because she has the most experience. I, I go so. downtown every Thursday. I wasn't a crazy party animal like everyone assumes that you are when you go to UCSB. I really didn't start going out until last year when I turned 21. Downtown is like kind of like your typical clubbing experience. You go to a club, it's packed. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of sweaty people. <laughs> Drinks are expensive and uh people touch you that you the same. Why do you go? I like being around people and drinking and the environment like it kind of sucks but then like what am I gonna do stay in bed and watch the office? Like, uh, hey. uh, but then Isla Vista parties like IV parties uh, before I was 21 that was really my only option to party because you don't have to have an ID to get in it's just house parties and they're honestly the worst. If you go to like a random party on, on DP, which is like the Oceanside, Balcony, Ragers, like crazy, it's not the best because it's just extremely packed. You don't know anybody really, because um, it's not like a personal it's party. All girls. It's all girls because well, all the houses have... only let in females. I don't know. What? I think it depends on who's That's throwing weird. it, but also there's never any alcohol unless you get there at like when it starts. But like I said, it's the experience, it's college parties, it's literally what you see uh, like in Neighbors and like movies. movies. I remember my freshman year, I would, my first time I walked down DP, there was a guy sitting on a couch on top of the roof throwing water balloons at people with a beer in his hand and it was oh just like, God. it was just like, this is college, like I've accepted yeah. my fate and this is college. I've gotten a lot of comments and questions um, asking me like if you go to such a party school is there pressure to party or what do you do if you don't party and I'm the one to answer that <laughs> because I do not party at all whatsoever so um, I like to do other things like um, yoga or go to the gym or watch TV or read when I'm home and enjoy a nice glass of rosé yeah enjoy a nice glass of rosé roasted vegetables uh-huh wait guys guys it's a corgi right there it's another dog is it a wiener dog or a corgi? Yeah. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> Please, come. Baby, oh yes. Oh, yes. oh he's How do we keep in shape at school? Sometimes I swim at the rec set and sometimes I'll jog. Sometimes I'll go to yoga and surfing, of course. So that's how I keep in shape. I'm not in any club team or anything, but they are, so they can talk about that part. I'm on the club tennis team. 
So that's mainly my like cardio. It's like eight hours a week. And then I also go weightlifting at the gym. I play intramural soccer. So I've started a team my freshman year, fall quarter, and we have been playing together every quarter since. And we won the championship one time, and it was pretty cool. Aaron was there to watch, see it, witness it. It was pretty cool. But that's like once a week, so I don't really know if that counts as working out. But you know, for me, it's just biking everywhere. Oh, that's true. So you get at least like 10 minutes of biking a day, depending on how yeah. fast you are. It's more like 15 for me, but it's not worse. Yeah. 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 It is exactly nine minutes it's there nine and back minutes. from the, our apartment. <laughs> what was your favorite class you took at UCSB, and what was your least favorite? I had two classes that really stood out to me. The first one was the class on Dostoevsky, hey, which actually Sydney and I <laughs> took, took together. So she sat in front of me. I love that class. I don't know why. I'm super into Russian literature. So I love that one. And I also really loved my Channel Islands class, which was cool because the Channel Islands are literally our uh, backyard here in Santa Barbara. So I'm looking at an island right now. Yeah. Yeah. You know which one that is? You can see nope. Santa Cruz, you can see Anna Kappa, you can see Santa Rosa. Which also, another fun fact, hey. those are what the dorms are <laughs> yes. named after the Channel Island 5. That's true. So, that's true. Okay, so I've never failed a class before, <laughs> ever, until I took this one class. I was kind of freaked out about adding classes and not having enough units, so I just added this random class. And it was computational derivative logic or something it was for computer science majors it was literally the hardest thing I've ever taken I was very upset about it and that's the only class in my entire life that I've gotten an F in well, my favorite class I've ever taken was human sex um, oh my god that was you guys are gonna feel my oh these people are gonna be like she's goes parties she's like sex she's, <laughs> she's but, the bad girl um, yeah, I'm the of bad our girl. house my least favorite class, I've had quite a few. Um, <laughs> when do I ever like the class? I had this class my freshman year called some, some anthropology, evolution of psychology in, in the anthropo department, but I would just draw the entire time and I ended up drawing like half of my mom's tattoos in that class oh because I was so bored. My favorite class is one that I took last quarter, it was California history. And so I just thought it was really cool to learn all about the history of where I've been living all of my life. And the professor was really awesome, but he's retiring next year. So take California history with graves before he retires. And then, I don't know what, I actually really liked all of my classes that I've taken here. Okay, what is your favorite day trip from Santa Barbara? Day trip? Um, Chick-fil-A. I like to go to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, my god. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> my personal favorite day trips would be Ventura because I love surfing in Ventura and then um, if feeling very adventurous you can go to Santa Cruz Island and I also like to go to Rincon. I like to go to Rincon Brewery. I don't really have any day trips. I sort of either stayed on campus or I'm from LA so yeah, same. that's a good weekend trip. Yeah. <laughs> Free housing with the parents. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty right now. It's hot Same. Today. Have you ever gotten into a bike accident here at UCSB? I did. Like, I did too. A month ago. I cried. First, you transfers, you transfers always first in bike, bike accident bikes. was in the last <laughs> month of school. Yeah. Yield means you stop. Yeah. No, yield means Read you yield. Yeah. Yield is yielding. Stop is stopping. I've gotten to a bike accident as well. It was raining. <laughs> Let me take you back. It was a dark, gloomy day. It was raining the rain and, was the, and the pavement was obviously like kind of cuddly. And this guy just swerved and then skidded and then I think ran it's right into me. It's cold. <laughs> anyway, he ran into me as I was biking and I totally fell. Um, my bike was bent and he left. He didn't even ask if I was okay. Some other person helped me get up. So I was not very happy, and then I had to take a trip to the bike store, and my bike has never been the same since. Yeah. <laughs> so. I've never been in a bike. It hurt, too. <laughs> bike accident, but I've had bike oh, issues. I've seen a lot. I've, I've had a lot bike, of bike issues. Um, my tire gets deflated, popped, whatever you want to call it, at least like four times a quarter, especially when my days are just terrible. It just seems, <laughs> just seems those are the days I like I'll wake up in a bad mood and I'll be like my tires gonna pop today what is your favorite food place three two one Chick-fil-A Chick
Chick-fil-A. Chick Chipotle. Chick-fil-A? Because it's in, not live. Okay, what about Ooh. NIV? Okay, NIV. Oh. Yeah. Wait, um, okay. give me a, give us a second. Okay. Okay, I got it. Go. I have to think about it. Oh. Okay, my my favorite place, like, I'm all, I love pizza too, so play, I like to go to Blaze a lot. But, like, when I'm coming home at 2 a.m. and I'm in the mood for, like, some, some good fried greasy food, Deja Vu has the best chicken tenders, they have the best ranch, they have the best french fries, they have the best mozzarella sticks. I love Buddha bowls because I love bread bowls. I just had my first one yesterday. Oh, so good. I got good. the Mac Daddy with extra bacon and cheese, and let me tell you, I don't know why I haven't been before. Cause I... <laughs> the Mac Daddy. I didn't I know them. the fact that they take the bread and put it in the oven to make garlic Ooh, yeah. bread. Yeah, it's what? So yeah. Why told me this? The camera turned off for some reason. But we were just talking about our favorite memories at UCSB. Um, there's a lot of them. My favorite is, it's kind of like a collection of the same memory, but just surfing at Devereaux at sunset. There's a country bar and down in like Galita area and they teach line dancing and stuff. So um, I got a bunch of my friends who don't like country music to go with me and it was really, it was fun because like, it wasn't like that. It wasn't crowded because no one likes country music up here. The next morning, I went to stagecoach, so yeah, that weekend was crazy. Country weekend. Least favorite memory. I know that one at the top oh. of my head. That one's easy. <laughs> um, okay, so for a while, I didn't think I would be graduating on time because oh, there was yeah. this whole drama um, with a really annoying teacher who was going to drop me out of the class. Because I missed two classes, and if she had dropped me, I would not be graduating next week. It sucks. So it was a lot of stress trying to persuade that teacher to keep me in the class, and then I had to do a lot of extra work and all this other annoying stuff. And then there was also this class that I was worried about not passing, which I did end up getting a B in, which was pretty cool. But just that stress of being so, so close to graduation and then thinking that, oh my gosh, you're not going to graduate on time, it, it was just not that fun. Kind of snowballing off that, um, I thought I wasn't going to be walking in graduation. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was so sad and angry and yeah. then um, it was a life lesson to make sure you click all the buttons. <laughs> make sure you click all the buttons, confirm, screenshot, everything. But luckily I was able to get a spot in commencement. So not an issue, but it's it was stressful. We were all there. For there, it. yeah. You, she, she, that she was like, you were there when the world was on fire. You can't let her walk in commencement. It's one extra person. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. we didn't talk about that. The fire. Last. All right. Okay. okay I mean, wait. Flashbacks. Okay. Winter quarter was ridiculous. <laughs> not only did the biggest fire of all of the United States history happen right in Santa Barbara area, but like a month after that we got these just crazy torrential rainstorms torrential rainstorms that caused the really storms. deadly mudslides. Yeah, it was like so, it was like when it was the fire when we were supposed to take our finals and right. then when everyone was supposed to come back it was the rain so yeah, the flooding yeah. cost people even delay I, even more. I had to back. take I had to take a five hour detour to get to campus in winter quarter. Yeah, it was it was a weird. That might be my least favorite order. memory. Of driving. I forgot about yeah. that. Just yeah. driving for five remember, hours. Remember, remember when we were we stayed me and you were in the room and we're like we started packing because we're like what oh, if we yeah. get evacuated? Yeah, we thought uh, we were gonna get evacuated. Like, we, were, we were not in like <laughs> yeah. no immediate threat to be no, honest. No, we were like, not. We were not. But it like, was still scary. It, it was a scary time and it was just not cool for Santa Barbara. Yeah. yeah. And Ventura and all the other Especially places. Especially yeah, Ventura. Everyone is expecting a natural disaster this week yeah, we're because like, we had fires, yeah. fall quarter, rain, winter earthquake. quarter. I'm calling it right now. Earthquake. <laughs> earthquake. Major earthquake. Yeah, so Tuesday. finals is next week, so we'll see. What is some advice that you would give to incoming students, either freshmen or transfer? Don't get a beach cruiser. Yes. I, have, I don't know. That's true. Okay, so just that's you, my biggest. If you bike slow <laughs> anyways, you can get a beach cruiser because I still want to so go sad. fast in my head of my fashion. one speed, my one speed Same. bike with handlebars as long as life itself. Yes. My piece of advice would be like don't feel bad if you don't enjoy college right off the bat. Um, there's a lot of expectations that you're going to go to school and especially Santa Barbara where it's sunny, it's warm, the people are great, that you're going to have a good time. And it's okay if you don't. I Like I said earlier, I had a really hard time adjusting to A, being in college away from my parents. I've 
never been away from them. Living in a one bedroom like dorm hall, like at, living in the dorms is not fun. I'm. Oh, I like I, living in the dorms. But that but was like my old yeah, school. Yeah, it's the dorms here. Are like there's three people in one room. You don't have a bathroom. It's just three bunk beds and a desk, and that's all you have. You have no privacy. And it's not trying to knock on it. Like it's an experience I'll never get. Like there's people that never will be able to say that. And I've. <laughs> I got one of my best friends from doing that, but it really does like affect your mood. So you can't, don't be mad if you're not enjoying it. It's okay, and learn to deal with that and find things that do make you happy. And don't dwell on being upset because I regret second half of my freshman year because I was so focused on how much I didn't like the school that I didn't go and do, do a lot of opportunities, enjoy things that were being presented to me because I wanted to be mad. I didn't want to enjoy it. And then after I kind of got over that funk, it was just like, I get to decide if I'm happy or not. And, you know, and even if you do come here and it doesn't fit you, like, don't feel bad if you want to leave or drop out or go to a different school. Because there's a lot of things about this school that I know now that might have influenced my decision of coming here. I might not, I might have gone to a different school because of the needs that weren't met here. And it's okay, like, just because you're here, it's not, it's not permanent. And, you know, you can make the best of it or you can leave and do something else and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, my piece of advice is to do something that you've never done before. And um, it can be as simple as going scuba diving, because UCSB offers that. It can be joining a club, um, learning a new sport, I don't know, anything that will kind of step you out of your comfort zone. But I do Sorry, think that you should take advantage of all of the opportunities that Santa Barbara has to offer, because there's a lot, there's something for everybody. Even if you hate the beach, you'll have fun in Santa Barbara. Yeah. The, the mountains are insane. Yeah, the mountains. There's Hiking. like a lake around here. You can play Kishima. Mm -hmm. there's And if you hate the outdoors, there's you a, can there's just a stay lot inside. of there's a lot of there's <laughs> we also got a, a big of, library. There's a lot of culture and like arts and you know yeah. that there's that oh, yeah. downtown there's a lot. You Natural History Museum. Yeah, like the, there's the, the Granada Theater and Arlington Theater downtown that there's, every day there's an event going on. There's musical performances through the arts and lectures. There's, you know, even though it's a STEM university, there's a, a, such an array of people that... It is? Uh, it's, 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 a research. it's a research university. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Yeah. So it's, yeah. there's a lot <laughs> the of... The more you know. Uh, yeah, like it's not... Yeah. So the point is there's a lot for everybody but if you do come to UCSB specifically I would really really urge you to take advantage of it the fact that it is on the beach is really special okay and then I think we have one two more questions the first one is what will you miss most about UCSB for me it is going to be just being able to bike and feel the sea breeze and go <laughs> check some the yoga. waves um, and to just be able to surf and I don't know I've never lived this close to the beach before and I'm also gonna miss my roommates because oh, you're her forced friends they're yeah <laughs> my, forced my friends. obligatory friends because I mean I have two brothers we all have brothers yeah no one has sisters like this is the first time where shout I'm out where with all girls I, it's been an experience yes Yes, and I yeah. am going to miss that. Too. Also, another stereotype is you can never get in the shower. That's a lie. We've never had an We've never had an issue with shower. one bathroom and four people, yeah. or even last year when so we had six, six people. people. We yeah. never had an issue like, using the bathroom. True. It's not like there's stuff about it that's stereotypical, but there's also stuff yeah. that's not. I was very, very fortunate with my roommates. Yes. So. Yeah, and we all did. We pit, We all were random together. Yeah. So yeah I've had crazy. some. I've had. And that's one of the things that I like really liked about that I'll miss is just the whole community here at UCSB. Mm -hmm. I find that everyone, or like mostly everyone, is really approachable and friendly. I probably will miss the independence I got from being up here since I'm moving back home after graduation for a bit. Um, I, it's like you got a taste of freedom and now I'm, mm -hmm. but it's, it is me, it's, because it's the thing is with college is that you get to be free, but like to a certain extent, like you you get the responsibilities of an adult, but you're still in an environment that everyone else is in. So your life isn't that much different than the person next to you. So you you can kind of make mistakes because you have a people around you to fall on. And now that I'm graduating, I don't. It's be, being res, not being responsible is what I'm gonna miss most about <laughs> college. Because like it's, it's not.
not acceptable to mess up after this. So and I'm that brings I'm me to my final question of the video. What are your plans for after you graduate? My plan is to move back home for the summer and to work all summer lifeguarding and teaching junior guards in Malibu. And then I want to travel the rest of the year, goof off, just have fun because this time next year is when I plan to be serious about a career and finding a place to live on my own and all that adult stuff. So right now I just have a one year plan. I am, after graduation, gonna go home for the summer and uh, lifeguard as well, uh, save some money. But I am also have a couple trips planned. I'm gonna go visit my grandparents and hang out with friends and go to Vegas and kind of live up, kind of count the summer as my last summer rather than the other way around, like the last summer. But um, after that, I want to move to Hawaii um, and possibly teach out there. Um, but maybe by the end of the summer, I'll be more serious about going and continuing my education and maybe apply for grad school, either in forensics or... What? Hopefully I'll get some inspiration this summer. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know. Graduation, it's exciting, but it's also a little overwhelming. Yeah. and intimidating because up until now I mean I'm I think all of us have just been students all, all of our lives so scary. it's kind of crazy to yeah well she's still gonna be oh yeah student, okay so. Cindy yeah. needs to go sorry um so over the summer I'm just gonna work like a part-time job just to keep busy but then in August I'm moving to DC to go to George Washington University for grad program um, I'll be getting a master's for museum studies, and one of my classes is taught in the Smithsonian, so... That is pretty cool. They and have classrooms in I'm a nerd. And I'm she's excited. gonna marry a senator. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's have gonna happen. Anne. Just like Angela. Yeah. Yeah. In the office. Anyway, I really hope that this helps anyone who is, um, looking to transfer or get into UCSB, or if not UCSB, then any college. It's really hot. I really need to get in the water, so I'm gonna leave you guys and go for a surf but thank you for watching and um yeah bye, bye.